Hey, my friends. I'm sure you've heard before that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. <laughs> and um, often what we learn is that the words are the ones that hurt the most, right? It just seems like the, those, those words are the ones that, that last, um, sometimes even more than the actions uh, that we've done. So God has given us uh, ways that we should interact with our fellow human beings so that we can uh, make sure that we're not hurting others. And also ways that we can uh, try to not hurt ourselves uh, whenever we speak or whenever we listen to the way that somebody else is speaking. So there's, there's um, some great content by a guy named Hofetz Haim, and we're studying a little bit from him. Um, this guy is, uh, it's called, this particular book is a lesson a day. Um, and uh, Hofa Time talks about um, the product of good and evil speech and um, how to speak kindly to others and how to not listen to um, nasty stuff and ways of being able to get out of listening to nasty stuff. So I was reading today and um, it sparked a thought in my head as an example that I wanted to share with you. Uh, I have a friend who owns a business and uh, he's a very upright man, very, uh, very strong in his dedication to the Creator. And he, uh, obviously in business you run into certain business deals that sometimes, you know, you do your best to make everything right and it doesn't always uh, turn out. And he was recently involved in a uh, kind of a court case and all of this with a particular client. Well, anyhow, um, you know, I'm confident that my, that my friend, um, was doing everything as righteously and good as he possibly could. And, uh, but something that's very interesting is I began as, you know, as a business owner as well, I began to see come up on my like Instagram and Facebook for our, for our business profiles, uh, like negative speech against my friend's business from the people that were, uh, you know, originally involved in this case. And they had asked others, like friends and, and family members, to reach out on the social media and uh, give negative information about my friend's business. And of course, Hope of Time says, you're not to listen to that. You're just not, li not to listen to that negative information. So for me, I knew uh, the information to be untrue, but others, you know, may or may not know that that information is false. So one of the ways that the other party was trying to gain credibility is they were having uh, seemingly religious people to post these, uh, this negative information. And they would use uh, religious institutions within the negative information to make you think or feel that um, the guy that the perpetrator supposedly uh, was in the wrong because of who he had supposedly wronged, right? So very interestingly today, um, I'm reading and the Hope of Time says like, you know, let's say somebody that's super duper religious tells you a piece of bad information and they say something negative about someone else. And most likely your evil inclination is going to say something like, how could you not accept this report as fact? Um, dare you ac accuse the speaker of lying or transgressing? You should distance yourself from falsehood. So that would be like the evil inclination telling you, okay, you've just read this thing from a super, du or you've heard this thing face to face from a super duper religious guy. So, your tendency is to think that guy must be telling me the truth, therefore I should believe it. However, <laughs> the negative information is something that you should avoid. That's the thing that you should be avoiding. And so the Hope of Time says, well, what would be your response to your evil inclination if something like that happens? And basically what he's saying is like, there are verses that say you should not go about as a gossip mongerer, right? Um, that it's very clear that for, at least for Judaism, the law is that you, sh you can't do that. You can't go speaking negatively about someone. And so 
if you saw a super duper religious person blatantly ignoring some stipulation of their religion, obviously you would say, well, of course that person is not a super duper religious person. So there you go. There you have it. You just look at them and you would say, okay, by them giving me this horrible information, I know that they are someone who has no credibility whatsoever, right? Uh, so it's very interesting. I was trying to decide, should I delete the, you know, the little um, comments and stuff that we get on our burst, uh, business page that are negative information to other business pages? Or should I let it be? Because if the truth gets out there, we realize that the speaker of Lashon Hara, the speaker of evil and negative speech, is the one who actually loses all the credibility. Wow. May we all realize how important it is that we speak well of others and that for sure we speak well of ourselves. Have a great day.